We're here today at Java Joe's, a popular downtown Des Moines coffee house where Cafe Mom has gathered a room full of moms to meet the candidate that the media can't seem to get enough of, Newt Gingrich. Let's head inside. In just a few minutes, pollster Frank Luntz and I are going to be up on this stage asking Newt Gingrich questions about the topics that Cafe Mom members say matter most to them. We're also going to be giving moms in the audience a chance to ask him questions as well. Now you can watch the news every night and find out what he has to say about policies and plans as a candidate. Today we want to give you a chance to get to know Newt as a husband, a father, a grandfather. Get ready to see a side of Newt Gingrich you've probably never seen before. Mothers play an enormous role in sustaining civilization. And that's why I think mothers probably understand the threat of a devalued, uprooted America more deeply than men do. Before a sea of cameras and news agencies from around the world, Gingrich touched on all the topics near and dear to mom's hearts, from education to clean air to the creation of jobs. And he had a request for these moms as well. I would simply ask folks, if I could put it in a very simple way, I would ask you to think about how much you love your children and how much you love your country. And try to help people like me figure out how do we get the news media and the candidates to understand that they really should participate in an election worthy of our children and worthy of our country because we are in real trouble and we can't stand politics as usual. But it was Newt's tears when talking about his late mother's struggles with bipolar disorder that made headlines today and deeply affected the audience members. My whole emphasis on brain science comes in directly from dealing, um, see how you have emotional, but from dealing with, you know, the real problems of real people in my family. I believe that he's real, he's been through a lot. I know people want to camp on his mistakes, but I think it's only from being at the bottom of the barrel do you rise up and learn. I think he did exceptional. I really did. There were several undecided people that were all around me, and at the same time, they were the first ones that would start clapping when he would make the comments that he did. I think he was spot on at addressing the concerns of everyday middle America. Ultimately, these moms are looking for more in a candidate than a laundry list of ideas and proposals. They want to vote on a person they feel they can trust. Great decision. I'm not going to vote on Tuesday night for the best electable. I'm going to vote for the best person I think would be a good president, someone who could lead us through all this chaos. And I'm just tired of the stress, tired of the negativity. You put a negative ad on TV, I'm not voting for you. For Cafe Mom, I'm Lindsay Ferrier.